So essentially I'm making a boring bar holder for the Atlas Shaper. This probably won't pertain to too many people, but for uh, some people it might be of interest. Um, this piece, if anybody knows this metal, um, feel free to, uh, or this alloy, feel free to uh, shoot me a message. This is off of a, I want to say a tie rod off of a big Ford truck or Dodge truck. Um, it's high carbon. I don't know exactly what it is. These are also high carbon. They're off of um, pretty much a heavy duty shock absorber, the center stock through those. So if anybody knows what these are or what alloy it is, let me know. So essentially, I got some lines drawn on here. I don't know if I'm going to go with it or not, but that's for, you know, want to be a slitting saw and then mill it out. So, yeah, what we're making is a boring bar holder for cutting keyways. And uh, I'm not going to harden this um, for the amount of use it has and the, uh, you know, the, how heavy it cuts it's going to receive. I don't think it's going to be necessary to harden it. Uh, if I do need to harden it down the road, I'll pull out the forge and um, harden it. But, you know, on a small shop, hardening is kind of a pain in the ass unless you have to. So uh, I think it'll hold up pretty well without it being hardened. I'm not going to be, you know, hogging material out with this thing. So this is the start. Uh, I'm just going to. Take a few videos as we progress instead of uh, actually taking uh, milling videos at this point because I don't have my shops a little bit too messed up to to do it. This will probably be a regular boring bar. Um, might make it a slotting bar. Uh, might make it a boring bar. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see what turns out. I'll just do a bunch of short videos as I progress, I guess. All right, very little battery left. Uh, before I get too out of control, I figured I'd throw in an update. This is currently just tack welded, apparently reasonably well, but, so I put a slot in there. Uh, I put a groove just so that's got something more to sit in. And I just got a tack weld on the back, but I got to weld all the way around. And then I'll probably do some more milling on it. Um, to uh, just reduce the general mass of the head, plus I got to drill and put some screws in. So that's where we're at. And I just copied off this handle for about the same size. It's a little bit bigger, but it should work. Yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right. So to get another tack weld in here and get this perpendicular and uh, straight to the shank I'm gonna have to shim this up until it's uh, even and then clamp it all down so it causes that to twist a little bit and that way I can get another good tack weld in there and hopefully everything will be straight when all is said and done so just uh, food for thought so for what it is I am technically done with it um, not the prettiest stick welds I've ever made, but they will suffice. I did mill the, the two tack welds to do the front and the rear out. Um, I was going to thought about blackening it, but I mean, really, what's the point for, uh, what it is? It should, uh, should suffice. I didn't, uh, obviously didn't drill the show a video of me, uh, Boring and drilling and tapping these holes. Um, used an end mill, bored them down to where I wanted them, and then just uh, two different drills, drilled and tapped 10 24th screws. Um, pretty satisfied with how it is. Uh, I managed to get it pretty straight. It's about, uh, you know, say if you're looking at it like this, it's about like three thousandths over four inches. And it actually does have a little bit of up tilt, so it's not square here. But you know, I can work it either two ways if I needed to go down, 
or if I need it to go up, it gives me just a little bit of play. And it's not too bad, it's probably uh, 40 thousandths over um, 4 inches, so, you know, no complaints there. Uh, yeah, quite satisfied with how it turned out. Now I just got to make the boring bar for it, but uh, hopefully it gives you all some ideas. I'm sure there's better designs out there. This is just the one that I thought up, so, and I uh, kind of thought it up as I went like I do most things. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it was fun, though. I'll give it that, so. Uh, see you on the flip side.